So ever since I actually watched this episode of Hajimiti no Gal, like during me watching it and me just finishing it this moment ago, I have thought to myself, I was like, I need to find a way to describe this show to make people really want to watch it. And the way I'm going to actually describe it is by saying, guys, this show, this show, this show is kind of like the contradiction of the typical perverted anime character. And it's not because, you know, the girl is very sexual. No, we find out that the girl is actually very, very, very soft and sweet at heart. You know, she's taking this relationship serious and she's even shy to kiss our main MC. Who got shot down because he had a nose hair, quote unquote. No, he didn't have a nose hair, but she said that just to make him, well, not go for the kiss. And we see how it literally tears him apart and he states, he states, <laughs> every time or in or any time something happens, I'm going to think of nose hair. <laughs> <sighs> but no, in all seriousness though, there's all these events that happen in the show or get brought up in our main character's head or his friends tell him about karaoke and karaoke is not just about singing, it's about what comes with it, the intercourse at some point. And he states, that can't be true. Until the main female character actually says, let's go have, you know, let's go to karaoke. Let's go to a place where we can be loud and noisy all we want. And he's like, what? And she says, karaoke. And he has this goofy ass face. This is goofy ass face, dude. And he's like, he's like, this is, this is the chance. This is the time. And to find out, no, she, she, she's not even going for that. So it, I love how it sets up like this sexual tension, I guess, for our main MC. And then it like kind of goes through with it until the very end it's not like it you know kind of teases it's going to happen it doesn't even do that but it just gives us that you know it, it, gets, it puts us in that state of mind like is something going to happen this time is it going to happen that time and then it makes you say oh my god this, this how is this even possible and i really love like the inner conflict with our main character because like he's, he thinks to himself he's like he's just kind of like this this can't be happening you can get a really pretty girl and we all go through that so it is relatable because it's kind of like we just get a relationship it's kind of like Oh, I don't want to mess this up. I mean, I, I gotta make sure I'm doing good at the very beginning. What's why did she say yes? Though why did she even like me? And all those questions always flow into our, you know, in in and out of our mind. But the thing that I loved in this episode was actually how all his friends, like they totally think she rejected him. She's like the hottest girl in the school. She probably is the hottest girl in the school. And I will say she is tier one. She, every girl in the anime is a t twelve out of ten for the love of God. But. I guess that's how they make sales, but this girl is tier one, I tell you, 20 out of 10. But um, no, I love how they think, you know, everything went bad, then all of a sudden he's like, hold on, I gotta text guys, and, and, and he, he thinks, he, you know, even our main character thinks things are gonna be shitty, but he's like, this is her in like a towel, just fresh out of the bathroom, like what, you know, they're freaking out about it, and hey, excuse the noise if you guys hear it, it's just not my fault, not my fault, nothing I can do, but um, <laughs> there's a train coming through too, but then they see the text, they're like, what? <laughs> it's like lies. And then the one kid who keeps asking about does she have a sixth a sister, fourth and fifth grade to be perfect? That dude's a weirdo. The fat guy is weird as hell, and he has the lowest self esteem I've seen in anime. So I, 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 I. But I think that's where the chemistry, you know, and where the great part of the show is really going to happen. Is going to be the chemistry, when, you know, with the main female character. As we, we truly see the girl, because it's like, she's having fun. Oh, she's really cute. And he's going to grow to like her for who she is. But she, he's also going to have these, like, sexual desires nagging in the back of his head. Which is going to be really funny and damn entertaining to watch it progress. But the chemistry between the main characters, dude... The main characters and his friends, the perverted friends, like whenever they're talking about how they'll be there for him and he's like thinking in his head how his friends are there for him. It shows him just like running like girls in the sunset and it's like, no, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I got to go from a show like this to Classroom Elite that's really a serious show and like it's a show that's just like, it's so real and so serious, like it's not a goofball show. I don't know how I do it. At least it brings me, at least it brings me back to reality. It brings, because the first scene wherever he has his fist and it's like punching through his pants, I'm just kind of like, what? I literally have my notes. What the F am I watching? Classroom Elite. Thank you for grounding me. Thank you for being the show I have to watch after this. Thank you for coming out 30 minutes after the show outside of contradicting with me uploading. I wish I could just upload all this stuff and get it done with. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for grounding me. Thank you. As always, guys, you have been hexed. I don't even know where I am right now. I'll see you guys later.